This is going to be the melody tutorial for Sonic the Hedgehog 2's boss theme. We'll start off with the intro, which is a call and response between the rhythm and the melody. We're going to start off by hitting the 7th fret on the G string, the 5th fret on the B string, 6th fret on the B string, 5th fret on the B string, 7th fret G, 5th fret B. In total, then it's going to do the little rhythm part. For the second melody, you're going to hit the 7th fret G, 5th fret B, 6th fret B, 5th fret B again, 4th fret B, 5th fret B, 4th fret high E, and then the 5th fret B. In total, so in total, it starts with the rhythm, then rhythm, then we're going to move on to the next section of the song. This part of the song can be organized by a main section, a first ending, then the main section again, and then a second ending. The main section will start off with a 7th fret D, a 4th fret G, a 5th fret G, a 7th fret G, and then a 5th fret G. So, for the main section, then we're going to move on to the first ending. It's going to hit the 4th fret G, 5th fret G, 4th fret G again, 5th fret D, 7th fret A, and then the 5th fret D. So, in total, then you do the main section, and then you go into the second ending. Here's the second ending. You're going to do a 4th fret G, 5th fret G, a 7th fret G, a 4th fret B, and then a 5th fret B with a slide away. So, you have, in total, in this song, all of that repeats four times. On the fourth time, there's a harmony that comes in. For this arrangement, we combine both melody and harmony together. This is going to follow the same organized approach to the melody, except now we're going to do double stops. Here's how you play that. We're going to hit the 2nd fret G and the 1st fret B. 4 and the 3 on the G and the B. 5 and the 5 on the G and the B. 7 and 6 on the G and the B. The 5 and the 5 again on the G and the B. That would be the main part. That'll sound like this. Now for the first ending. You're going to hit the 4 and the 3 on the G and the B. 5 and the 5 on the G and the B. 4 and the 3 again on the G and the B. Then the open on the G and the B. 2 and the open on the D and the G. And then the open on the G and the B. So you have... In total, you have... Then it does the main section again, and then the second ending. Here's how you play the second ending. You're going to hit 4 and the 3 on the G and the B, 5 and the 5 on the G and the B, 7 and the 6 on the G and the B, 8 and the 7 on the G and the B, and then a slide away with the 9 and the 9 on the G and the B. That should sound like this. And in total... Then we do the outro, which is the same thing as the intro, except we do the 7th fret on the D as a slide away to give a resolute ending. <clears throat> and in grand total for the whole song.
that's the melody for Sonic the Hedgehog 2's boss theme. Okay, here's the rhythm tutorial for Sonic 2's boss theme, also known as the Dr. Robotnik theme. We're gonna start with an A minor using an F shape up here at the 7th fret D, and then it going to be barring down on the G, B, and high E string, 5th fret. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and forth, and we're gonna toggle between the triple stop and the bass note. And then it's gonna go and uh, chug on the low E string, and then it's gonna do a toggle between the low E string and it's going to do an E7 using an A shape up here at the 7th fret. So it's going to be 7th fret A, 9th fret D, 7th fret G, 9th fret B, and the high E 7th fret. So it's... It's going to repeat the beginning part. Then it's going to do this. Now, be aware that there is a bass line change that happens in the song. But that kind of gets a little bit muddy. So in the demo, I just did the power chord. And then I did octaves here at the second fret of the E and fourth fret of the D. Third fret, same exact shape, but now everything's shifted up from three to five, four to six. So in total. next section is going to be dealing all E shapes. You've got an A minor, G major, and an E major. That's the full chord. Predominantly, we're going to be dealing with the power chords, which means we're going to be pretty much dealing with only the E, A, and D string. However, it is going to kind of bleed over with some of the, uh, some of the strumming because of how aggressive it is. So I'd recommend doing the full bar. So let's talk about those chords. You're going to be using the full bar on the fifth fret of the low E all the way to the high E. Our ring finger will be here at the 7th fret of the A, pinky finger on the 7th fret of the D. Shifting over a whole step, we're going to bar down the 3rd fret all the way down. Our ring finger will be at the 5th fret of the A. Our pinky finger will be at the 5th fret of the D. And our middle finger will be at the 4th fret of the G. And then we're going to take that exact shape and just shift it over. And this right here will be just an E major. It's going to be the open E, 2nd fret A, 2nd fret D, 1st fret G. And that's it. The rhythm for that is going to be a down stroke chuck and then a down up. If you notice, my hand is bouncing around. And you'll see that I'm pushing down when I do the down up. So that just kind of adds to that rhythmical chuck. When you play that over and over again, that progression is gonna happen a total of four times. On the fourth time, be aware that in order to get back to the what would be the outro, which is the same thing as the intro, the whole you're going to have to make concession from that E major to be able to get up there. Pay attention to the tutorial and watch how it is that I do it, um, but ultimately you just need to be able to figure out how to be able to transfer up there with keeping the same rhythm concept going. Because of the repetitive nature of this, I'm just going to start from the very beginning and I'm going to go slow. Pay attention, it should sound like this. That is the rhythm for Sonic the Hedgehog 2's boss theme. Hi, my name is Tom Rodriguez and I am the author of Unlock Your Loot. This book deals with a simple approach to guitar fretboard mechanics and walks you through how to visualize music theory through chord structures. If you're interested in purchasing my book, you can head over to my website at unlockyourloot.com. 
If you're interested in joining the Unlock Your Loot community, head over to my Patreon. There you can get access to resources, including tabs and backing tracks for this song and many more to come. Links are found in the description. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Also remember to hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Don't be a stranger. If you have any questions, comment below.